Welcome, my name is Ted Whitten. I clearly need your help in reaching others. Your civil liberties are in jeopardy. Others need to know. Tell them. Watch to the end and share with your friends as if your life and freedom depends on it, because it may. It was demonstrated in Florida Criminal Court that Deputy Zachary Wester of Jackson County Sheriff Department in Mariana, Florida was found guilty at trial of planting drugs in the cars of citizens at numerous traffic stops. Wester used the unconstitutional technique of proactive patrolling to initiate a search following a stop for a fabricated cause in the Teresa Odom stop. The taillight Wester claimed was faulty worked fine. The cause for the stop did not properly exist. The escalation for the search was without reason. The corrupt officer used proactive patrolling techniques to unlawfully access the personal property to commit a crime. This unconstitutional police technique is often used to strip persons of their personal property rights and is often violation of the U.S. Constitution Fourth Amendment rights for search and seizure. Western's violation of constitutional rights facilitated crimes by law enforcement and the judiciary that continue to unfold. I find reason to believe this racketeering scheme and cover-up extend all the way to and through the federal judiciary. The federal judiciary and court system is corrupt beyond measure, as you may soon see. The news media to this point has missed the biggest crime of all. Those who partner with Westers have dodged responsibility, yet common sense would tell you there is no way he operated alone. In this series of open mic interviews, we reveal accomplices and accomplice angles to include judges, prosecutors, defenders, attorneys, and others involved in racketeering and protection racket crimes. Understand in a RICO crime, each individual is guilty for each event of the organization. Wester's crimes and the cover-up involves many people. Our interview begins with a hidden camera discussion with Teresa Odom, whose traffic stop video helped expose Zachary Wester. You might recall Teresa was the lady in the small white truck, see the video link, in which Wester concealed the drugs in his left glove, moved the drugs about the vehicle until his crime of fraud was perfected and she was charged, incarcerated, and convicted of drugs by Wester's accomplice, the prosecutor. Understand the prosecutor's office was a partner in the crimes and took measures to avoid being entangled. The state attorney and others in Panama City, Florida, routinely partner crimes with law enforcement by tampering of evidence and records. Yet, the governor of Florida fires prosecutors for not allow following his rules. But what about those committing crimes of malicious prosecution and tampering of public records? Watch and see what unfolds in these 100-plus interviews. The governor's office and that of Inspector General appear to be covering color of law crimes in the northern Florida districts and presumably elsewhere. It is criminal RICO facilitating. The government has gone rogue and law enforcement is operating as organized crime. Folks must realize their civil rights are gone. Links in the description below will be added to reveal associated crimes. If you do not see the links, remind me in the comments and I will post the links. Share with a friend quickly because the retaliation by the state, law enforcement, and their associated criminal partners is anticipated. This okay. Of the 33 people that went through the civil case, um, you say, you know, and, and I'll take your word for it, there's no reason for us to challenge that, um, that three people have died. But as, within two weeks, as soon as the money started flowing, they started picking people up, didn't they? I know of one that has since went back to jail, since the settlement take, has taken place. You know, just over the radio. I don't know these people personally, right. a lot of them. 
Well, here, okay, here's something, you know, that, that I don't know to the, the extent of what you know. Uh, you and I have talked on these things uh, before. But the, um, I was forced into an assignment, coerced by an attorney. I had a, a, case, a similar case because there's so much of this going on in, in those departments and divisions. I had another case running parallel. And I had created a website. I was fending them off because the prosecutors, the state attorney's office is completely corrupt in that, in that region. The guy in charge of the prosecutor's office now is Larry Basford. He ran for office. His bio says that he spent 25 years shadowing and working with Glenn Hess. Now, as near as I can tell, I have a thousand counts, a thousand documents they have manipulated through an organized crime fashion to avoid prosecution. It's routine in the state prosecutor's office, the state attorney's office in Panama City, Florida, to manipulate whatever documents they have or need. And I anticipate they've manipulated any files on you or about you. They set people up, they frame people. It's, it's, it's not outside their bailiwick. It's what they do. And I push back about that. Now, here's the thing, and, 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 and in light of the prosecutor's office, the, my understanding is, is that of a few select... Folks, we are taking great risk here to bring you some rather colorful deceptions from the hoax judicial process you depend on for your civil rights. We need some real-life superheroes to share this presentation at a high level with deep commitment. We, we want you to be a part of the judicial revolution coming soon. Help us to help you. Share this with the brightest people you know. This is a modern David and Goliath saga. The uncircumcised, uncircumcised Philistines will be exposed. The federal judiciary has been weaponized to oppose the nation they serve. Widespread fraud in judicial proceedings are being used to mask a host of judicial racketeering schemes, including schemes by sitting judges committing frauds to conceal motions to impeach the judge and court officers for corruption and offenses. Frauds to suppress material evidence recur often. The lawyers of this nation operating in failure mode are undermining the destruction of this nation. Look at Congress and the Senate, full of lawyers doing what exactly? Attorneys in this country will not risk their career to expose the ongoing repetitive fraud and criminal racketeering by judges and the judiciary. My law career as an attorney, in fact, appears nearing its end. It appears I have nothing to lose. All forms of, of collaboration opportunities on this project will be entertained. Subscribe and share this video to, to receive notice and access to the uncut versions as they come available. We have many opportunities to partner and win. Thank you for your patience and participation in advance. There is something for everyone here. Pray for our success. Feel free to create short TikTok loops from this video and share with the world. Post your TikTok loop below and the uh, below the original video for extra traffic and subscribe to receive a special access offer. TikTok TikTok loopers do loops with my crooked bastards excerpts and receive an autographed copy of my book, The Answer to Cancer: A Simple Solution for the Western Condition. Bloggers, post your opinion of this epic disaster and tag me in it and we'll respond in kind and send you an autographed book. You twits on Twitter, share your thoughts and tag a, uh, a video to stir the brighter friends and followers you have. It is time to take back the nation from parasitic politicians. Feel free to demonstrate your IQ below in the comments and engage others. 
As we move forward dismantling things opposed to your freedom, we look forward to collaboration opportunities with well-grounded podcasters and power media players. Podcasters, I will reveal fresh, hot evidence in any and every podcast interview if you have me on your show. Also, I will facilitate your efforts to more than double your subscriber base. Fighters for justice must come together. Pray for this effort. The criminal operation being exposed is real. They oppose a national and internet. They pose. They pose an, a national and international threat through widespread systematic abuses of civil and human rights. A massive human trafficking effort underlies this enterprise. If you have the ability to notify the FBI or the DOJ, Department of Justice, please do so. There's a massive cover-up at the Florida governor's office, it seems. This type of cover of color of law scheme in federal judiciary and related entities is a kind of government corruption harming our nation. The citizens have no means to correct it, and the attorneys are complicit with the schemes because they will not risk their career to save an, an individual case. Massive failures in the fiduciaries and oaths of office exist. Corruption in law enforcement is rampant with no oversight. At the time of launch, this effort is largely founded and funded by book sales. About the time the federal, state, and local government were revealed as unlawfully targeting and drastically violating my human and civil rights, I was launching a series of self-help books, including this one, CO2 and You, A Release from All Sickness. Thereafter, the governments of the world implemented a system to make you wear things to cover your face, which can lead to CO2 accumulation in your breathe there, thus initiating a series of health issues leading to a host of issues explored in this book. Get the fix presently on Amazon, CO2 and You, a release from all sickness by Ted Whitten and Doc Mathia. Link to the purchase is in the description. Watch and pray about retaliation. High-level corruption in law enforcement is protected through re retaliation, framing, extortion, and a host of crimes by law enforcement against citizens as acts of intimidation. Further, those who push unconstitutional concept of proactive patrolling encourages law enforcement to violate your civil rights on the hunch of poorly trained law enforcement. It masks corrupt behavior as a scheme. This is government racketeering. The Western crimes are examples of what can occur through proactive policing. The governor and anyone pushing this agenda appear at war and in violation of the United States Constitution. Corruption at the federal judge level already impedes your civil rights, yet you will not become aware until you need them, and it will be too late. Share this with your, your favorite attorney. Advise them by joining our efforts they could win. However, remind them that all who oppose me are in fact facilitating a $16 billion RICO, which each individual facilitator is responsible for in full. Watch the drama unfold as we move forward towards launching, as we move to, towards launching an attorney referral system to address your civil rights issue. We are currently seeking rap music artists and animators or cartoonists for collaborative projects soon to be released. Subscribe and get ready for the rollout. Share this around the world before it can be taken down. If you post your social if you post this to your social media, then place the link in the comments under the original video. We will reach out to you. Keep in mind, Mr. Whitten is not an attorney. Mr. Whitten is honest, and that may preclude the ability for him to practice law. Whitten has explored legal misdirection and, federal, and corruption in federal, state, and local judiciary and law enforcement. It is seen as his obligation under USC Title 18, Section 4, misprision of felony. 
statutes to notify officials and to warn others. This method of notice is being tested because every lawful attempt to report has been met by officials who were and are corrupt in facilitating racketeering crimes of others. Mr. Whitten's mental faculties have been questioned by the state in their attempt to obscure their crimes. The federal government is complicit. See the link below. Publicly filed documents and notice, notices have been obscured repetitively by Magistrate Michael J. Frank, Judge Margaret Casey Rogers, Clerk Jeremy Wright, Florida State's Attorney's Office, and others. See link below. Further to this, sheriffs in the region and, and other corrupt law enforcement began and continue targeting Whitten for pushing back against the color of law crimes against American citizens. See links below. It is with assurance crimes are wise, widespread and patternistic. If Michael J. Franks is involved, it appears from my perspective there's a crime afoot. See link to impeachment below. Keep in mind, even lawful actions to further interrupt, obstruct, or conceal a person's First Amendment rights to expose a RICO or racketeering crime can result in charges for the RICO or racketeering crime. They're all complicit. There are links under our originally posted video that should serve you well. The best is yet to come.